from in here. Surprise the excess power guys. Oh, what's that right there? Oh yeah. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hook me up with a tour. With a tour? Yeah. Our tours are closed. You only schedule those on Thursdays and Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> That's you're already gone. I was, but I ended up sticking around. <laughs> uh, racing battery. That's what we used to start his uh, Dodge diesel truck out there. Oh, all those times? That... Yeah, unhooked his two Sweet. batteries. Oh, well, 375. Wow, that's oh, a lot right. of wire. That's the uh, XS Flex. XS Flex, I'm gonna get it to focus. Focus. Okay. There we go. And then this is the CCA. There we go. Okay, this is the CCA wire that they offer. Uh, Upper clad aluminum from excess power. So Looks this like is the wire that they they offer. Sweet. XP Flex. So if you want some of these products, you can check them out at excesspowerbatteries.com. Or what's the other one? For excess power. So they both go the same place. There you go. Holy crap. Tomorrow for spring break of course. This is what I'm running right here. I have 10 of these in the Tahoe. The 2700s, 65s, 24s. The racing batteries, the lightweight, the same size as what the D1600 is. They're only 30 pounds. So. How much is mine? Or how much? The XP's and the D1600's are about 44 pounds each. Okay. So we just lighten those up, take some of the lead out, which gives it less reserve Wait. capacity. But racing, you know, they're trying to save as much weight as they can. Right. So. <clears throat> the D1400's, S1400's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think a. We the S versions over there, which is same as the D version on the 12 volt side, same exact battery. They just have red decals and come with the automotive posts, where the D versions just come with the hardware to hook up the ring. Oh, okay. Cool. Marketing crap. Y'all do marketing? <laughs> Jeez, this is a huge it's poster. A you didn't hear? <laughs> yeah. Conference room. Oh, we're really doing uh, something around here. Michael, graphics guy. And this shirt. You got my name on it? <laughs> That's sweet right there. You get it right now for $99.99. Patsy the boss. Hey. Here's the man himself. Not much. You're busy? Get a little tour. <laughs> I know. Excess power camera. Yeah, we got. That, that's, <laughs> I, I need one of those batteries so it'll last longer. I'm just representing. That's yeah. been on there since spring break of last year. Yeah, we'll have to get you a um, uh, excess power lithium camera battery. <laughs> <laughs> right. At least some of those go in my RC car too. That's nice, man. Oh, here's your, this your van right here that you used to have. Oh yeah, I can kind of see it. Twelve Soundstream twelves, about six thousand watts. And then I stepped up to a van, JL Audio subs, W series, and Soundstream amps. That's a little bit. Of, that's all amps in the back right there. Dang, that's clean, man. And then I went to the black van with all the RE stuff. Well, what were you doing, like, uh, DB wise, then? 
Or no, I mean, what, uh, what was this? 99, 2004? Yeah, well, this, these things mm -hmm. right here were before the um, term lab came out. Mm -hmm. Actually, the term lab came out when I changed this setup over to, I used to use a Dyer. Um, I, don't know if you remember, I don't know if you remember a Dyer audio. It was, oh, were, I've heard of it. Were, uh, were, I don't were, Like involved with that. David and those guys at RE. Oh, okay. Um, but they switched to the term lab then, and when that van was doing 167s on the old mic, it was doing 164s on the new mic. And oh, wow. Eventually got it up. I think the loudest certified score I ever had with that white van was like 166 and change. And yeah. then I built the black van, and it, the loudest I got with it was like 168.5. Jeez, that's brutal. And then the, the white. I have another white man that's not shown here. It's still back in Kentucky. I just sold it to Danny Hayes. And it had uh, 12 12s in it. And the loudest certified I had with it was 169. Right, in, right on the 70 mark. That's, yeah. that's insane. Can I get one of these stickers right now? Oh, I'd say David. <laughs> call David, man. He's got a pile of them. You have that one? That's hilarious. David was responsible for printing those things up and sticking them all over everybody's shit. <laughs>